Hello learners in previous session we have discussed about a criticism on far from mending crowd and now the upcoming series is talk about the themes of this novel today we will discuss one theme if we get on time then we will discuss a second theme otherwise we will go with the one by one theme not go with the whole theme in one lecture but we will divide it in a two three lecture series so it's a get easier for an understanding so today's first theme of this novel is conflict and the law of nature so let's see the title of the title the title of far from the mending crowd is taken from an 18th century poem thomas gray elegy on a country's churchyard but it's a cut off the rest of the line which in its entirely read far from the mending crowd ignorable strip while the idea of a boy coil countryside as a being free of the strip of the crowd is one a way to characterize country's life hardy's title is ironic rather than respecting the stereotype of pastoral claim his novel used this image as a jumping off point to portray a landscape that's the actual riddle with the conflict means we find in a conflict in this title also it shows on a civil life or the, the landscape of the village life and there is a rest- restriction or the what are the problem they will face we have seen so that he actually tell us by using an attractor it's in a fight or the conflict between a nature and that village life that was that it's a characters must battle against the dangerous and often overpowering laws of nature and it's a creature even while the characters themselves become a subject to conflict among each other that mirror of difficulties of the natural world means it's in a fight between two world natural and the human world so that is the leading thing on if we see with this theme like another conflict of law of the nature then we can find in the natural law and the human law they are back like, become a clash between them we find in a clash let's see indeed nature seems often to fly in the face of people's desire and plans the disaster of gabriel ox ship is a is a novel's first dramatic instance of this while gabriel has spent year and all his resource developing the flock one unlucky event kill them all and they immediately transfer his circumstances means that a few days back gabriel ox was on a reach but the natural calamity comes and now that the circumstances of gabriel ox change why just because the natural law was applied later the gabriel seems better equipped to handle the victimization of natural disaster he meets bachiba again after putting out a fire in a weatherbury and he saves a group of lambs from a being po- poisoned by a club two instances of gabriel's new found ability to navigate the danger of the natural world troy is the opposite case he is first we have seen gabriel ox circumstances first how he, what are the power position he hold after natural calamity what what will happen after that uh, he men that men have to go for an uh, search for an a uh, job and uh, he get uh, job by whom bachiba give give him a job uh, why just because now circumstances are change so that's the natural law which apply whenever apply on a human's law 
then we see that the circumstances are always change but sometimes some human will also challenge the natural law we have also seen like in this case uh gabriel oak facing a problem but he nourish it he able to solve the problem he get, he, he fight against the law and uh, he solved that let's see what will happen with the sergeant troy when he, he will be facing a problem troy is the opposite case he is used to manage his own affair adeptly but after fanny's death and after a storm waves away the flowers he has planted at her grave he ranges against cold natural laws and uncontrollable circumstances rather than learning learning to work within within them but he not he not able to learn to work with that the circumstances that's the difference between a sergeant troy and gabriel oak now let's see what will happen with the bachiva when the it's turn come about or the triangle when moves to the bachiva what was the law of nature and the human laws bachiva manually also learned to navigate as in a best she can in a as a hostly natural environment for her troy eventually become a yet another conflict ridden aspect of his environment after their wedding for an inst- instance he plays a bachiba's worker with alcohol a result no one except gabriel is around to keep they have safe from in incoming storm and gabriel and bachiba have to race against the time and the nature to ensure that all is not lost that incident was that the sergeant troy give it alcohol to all worker so now they are not in that condition that they one more time go into farm and they are able to protect the crops but aspect only only the gabriel oak was there and bachiba so both have to go they have to go in farm and they have to protect their crops so that was the result as an a result no one except gabriel is around to keep the high safe from an incoming storm and gabriel and bachiba have to race against the time and nature to ensure that all is not lost humans then can work to might get conflict within the nature can rebel unsuccessfully against it or can become a hostly a force of their own whichever the case the novel make clear that a country's life is not an exempt for an such an a conflict and while humans manage a natural forces as a best they can there is a little they can do to half forces outside their control fate chance and circumstances then rule hardy's ruler world means that nature why we see the natural laws and the conflict just because rb rd's settings hardy always put a, his novel setting on a wessex the, the illusion or the, the imagination in england's area so it's an a look like in a little bit a village kind of an area so there we can see that the nature is a more powerful than uh, other things so that's why we we can say that the natural law is more higher or very powerful in this novel so it's a talk about a natural law in a upcoming day, upcoming lecture we will talk about another uh, characteristics like in a tragedy and illusion of uh, genders in a next session we will talk about that hope so you guys can understand about uh, natural law and uh, the pressure on humans how it uh, react when there is uh, some kind of natural calamity comes on human shoulders uh, means uh, here we have seen the reaction how the character are reacting when they are in trouble with gabriel og bachiba or the sergeant troy how they are responding 
to the nature's law like in a gabriel uh, he not he not become a destroyed by the circumstances what he face but what he what he do actually he face that problem and he try to solve that at the end he face that that he lose everything now he become a poor man he accept that and now what he do he was searching for a job means that man has connect with the nature that he able to survive with the nature whatever happen he accept that a same way sadha draw not able to after death of fanny still that man was not able to accept that uh, that man has to work he was denying the laws of nature after that we see that bachiba also that finally she realized why just because of the only nature that if that a cyclone calamity or that the natural calamity will not come that if then and then she realized that the truly that gabriel oak is perfect for her not that the sergeant roy why finally she realized her mistake that the sergeant roy is never interested in farming only just because of that incidents so sometime natural calamity not come within a bad uh, on a bad idea sometime it's come within a good thing also but it's a depend on our eye or uh, on our point of view that how we see the the is it problem or a new way it's a given a new learning it's a depend on us so that was the thought behind this hope so you guys can